Hi guys, it's Elbow here and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be unboxing a very popular dungeon crawler board game from Mantic. And that board game is Dungeon Saga. So I've had this board game for around a year now and I've just been playing it with my sister and my dad. It's, just, it's a really fun game to be honest and I'm just going to be unboxing it in today's video so that you guys can see everything that's in the box. I won't be going into detail with any of the rules or anything like that, I'm just going to be showing you all of the stuff that's in the box, like the models and everything like that. Firstly, I'll give you a look at the box. So here is the front of the box, which you can see here has got some nice artwork of some of the heroes and some of the villains that are going to be in the box. Then we've got at the bottom here, the Dungeon Adventure Board Game for 2-5 to five players. So like I already said, I play with two other players, my sister and my dad, but you can play with more. So on the back of the box, we've got a little brief on how you play the game. Then down here, we've got everything that's going to be in the box, as you can see there, a lot of stuff. And it's got a little list of everything, and I'm going to be covering all of it in this video, just showing you all of the miniatures and everything like that. So yeah, time to open the box. So it's secured very well, as you can see here. You have to sit this out first, so nothing else falls out. It's got a little, a nice design here with the Mantic logo. And then it comes out very easy now. So now everything is in this box now. And it's actually really cool because it's actually been printed. It's like a book basically, as you can see here. It's obviously not, but it looks like all of like the old pages and stuff like that. And it really fits in with the theme of the game. So then open the box. I really like how they've done this. They just use the magnet to open it and close it. But they've magnetised it enough so that you only have to apply a little bit of force to open it. But when you tip it upside down, it doesn't open. So nothing's going to be falling out in the box. And there actually isn't anything in the box because I've already, obviously, I've already unboxed it already. But I'm just saying, it's not just all going to tip out, if you know what I mean. So now that you've seen the box, I'm now just going to run through everything that's in the box. So starting with the rules book and then moving on to the miniatures, then the furniture and then all of like the dices and stuff like that. So let's get into that. So there are three different books, two rule books and one quest book. So this is the first one. This is when you've just bought the game. You haven't actually painted any of the models, but you just really want to start playing the game. This will be the guide for you. Just really simple and quick to just take it all in. It just shows everything that you need to know really. So yeah, that one's a quick one. The next one, this is more like the intense and detailed robot. This will be for you just want to educate yourself on everything that you need to know about Dungeon Saga. So all of the heroes and stuff like that. So all of the actions for the heroes and what dice you to roll for that certain hero and stuff like that. So yeah. And bearing in mind, this is still a simple and easy to understand. It's not like... This is so much harder than this one. This is just a lot more rules that you need to know about. So yeah, and then the last one is the quest book. This has just got all of the quests in it. And just shows what you need to set up with the tiles and stuff, which I'll be showing later on in the video. And as you can see, as the quests progress on, it does get a lot harder and we haven't even finished, me and my sister and my dad haven't even finished Dungeon Saga yet because it's just gone really hard at the moment as you can see here, like there's a lot going on there. But yeah, we, we soon will finish it. But they're all three of the books. So moving on to the miniatures, here we have the heroes of Dungeon Saga. I'm just going to show you each one individually. So first we have Daenor the Human Wizard. Secondly, we have Madriga, the Elf Ranger. Then we have Orlaf, the Barbarian. Then lastly, we have Rodin, the Dwarf. So normally we stick to the same heroes. So me and my sister are normally the heroes. And I have Orlaf, the Barbarian, and Daenor, the Wizard. And then my sister has Madriga and Rodin. So we try and keep the same heroes every single time. I just wanted to say that because I don't want you guys to think that you can't get this board game because you haven't got many people to play with. 
or you can play with more than one hero at the same time. So it doesn't matter how many people you play with. And then my dad plays as the Overlord and the Overlord basically controls all of the enemies and bosses and the bosses are coming up next. So next we have the four bosses of Dungeon Saga. So like with the heroes, I'll show them all individually. So first up we have Alshara the Banshee. Followed by Hogar the Zombie Troll. Then we have Grund the Undead Dwarf King. And then finally we have the main villain of Dungeon Saga, Mortabris the Human Necromancer. So next we have all of the enemies that you're definitely going to be going against during every quest that you play. Firstly we have the two Dwarf Revenants. Now in my opinion these guys are very hard to go against. Um, these have killed me actually a couple of times during quests that I played. Next we have the Skeleton Archers. Followed by a couple of Skeleton Warriors. Additionally, we've got some armoured skeleton warriors. Then next we have some zombies. Then finally we have the biggest model, the zombie troll. So next we have the furniture, which is not only a really nice decoration and nice to look at, but it just brings the game to life in my opinion, because it turns a 2D board game into a 3D board game because it's literally just coming up off the board if you know what I mean but yeah now I'll show you all of the different bits of furniture so firstly we have the chests which are a really good obstacle during the quests because sometimes you have to stop and open them and it really kills into the, your time because when you're trying to do something else you have to open it and see what's inside so next we have the bookcases which can really be in the way like I said um, a lot of this furniture is a good obstacle because it can be in the way and sometimes you can even hide behind it during fights um, so yeah I'll show you that later on then we have the throne then a weapons rack then we have a few barrels which is supposed to try and get in the way during fights and stuff like that then we have a table then we have a well. And then finally we have a lectern. So moving on to the doors, we have a range of doors. I'm not going to show them individually because you can see them right here. There's not much detail to show on the doors like this. But um, we have the double doors, these like single gate sort of doors and then like the single doors at the back over there. So yeah, they are the doors. So here we have a couple of the tiles, and yes, I said a couple, this is probably not even half of the amount of dungeon tiles that you get in this box set. So yeah, um, got some nice prints on all of them, all different unique shapes and sizes, I don't think any of them are the same, but yeah, all different prints. So just quickly, a little scenario that you can see, it's not the most accurate of quests. But I did it just to show you what a game would kind of look like. So the heroes would have start here. And as you can see, like I said earlier, stuff like this, like the well, you could probably hide behind that. And if it's like a long range skeleton or something like that, like this one here, if that one's there. Obviously, Olaf could get shot, but now da Daenor can't because he's hid behind a well. And then, normally what would happen is, the heroes would wait, work their way down here, killing all of the minions and stuff like that. Maybe search some of the rooms for chests and stuff to um, clear objectives. And then finally make their way down here, where the boss would be. So this one's the Revenant, and that would be the hardest part of the quest. So yeah, that's, one more, that's what a quest would look like. So here are some of the cards, the top ones here are for the Overlord, so we have extra commands so we can command some of the minions to do stuff he wants. And then we've got some of the spells, and then we've got loads more cards, just piles and piles. 
and we got some bow potions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go into detail with this sort of stuff, because it's not that sort of video, but yeah. So guys, that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoy it. That was just me showing you all of the contents inside of the Dungeon Saga box set. I um, hope you enjoy it. I don't know when this video will be uploaded to my channel, but right now we're on 97 subscribers. So if we just need three more, and then we've hit 100 subscribers, which would be really, really good. So thanks for that when it does happen. So guys, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.